you guys. So in today's video, this is going to be my 17, sorry, yes, 17 and 18 week pregnancy vlog. I am currently, what am I? I'm 18 weeks and 18 weeks and three days today. So I wanted to cover kind of the remainder of my 17 week pregnancy. Um, like symptoms and stuff like that and then also talk about what I've experienced so far in the 18th week of pregnancy. So if you guys want to see kind of my symptoms and the belly shot and things that I've been experiencing then just keep watching the video. So I guess we will go into first about the baby. So the baby is the size of a sweet potato, which is so crazy. Um, he is five and a half inches long and weighs seven ounces. So that's kind of big. Like what I saw or what I read that he's the size of a sweet potato, I was like, okay, now things are getting serious. Like he's getting pretty big. <laughs> like the sweet potato is like a good size. So that's really, really exciting to me. Um, and yeah, he's, he's kicking. I do feel kicks. It's more of like, um, like a flutter, but nothing too crazy. Just like a little kind of flutter. It feels like a, like there's a butterfly in your stomach or like, it feels like you're being like tickled from the inside. I've had that a couple of times, nothing like all the time, but I have had it a few times. So that's kind of exciting. Um, so I just, I have all my symptoms written down on my phone because if I don't write it down on my phone, I will totally forget it. So I will go into my symptoms now. So um, one of the unfortunate symptoms of pregnancy is um, I'm at the stage now where I literally have to pee all the time. I have to get up at least five times in the night and that's not drinking water before bed. Like I still have to get up and pee, yeah, like five times in the middle of the night. And the other kind of thing is if you have at least even just like a little bit of pee in your bladder, if I go to bend down to pick something up, when I stand back up, it's like you pee a little bit. Like not like a full on like, okay, you need to change your underwear and stuff, but enough that you're like, Ugh. <laughs> like you're just like uncomfortable and have to go to the washroom to like to change <laughs> like to well not to change to uh dry yourself off so um the bending down and then you just have to pee has not been the most fun but it's something that you know it is what it is you've got all that extra pressure and that extra weight from your uterus and from the baby sitting right on top of your bladder so obviously you're not going to have as much control down there and you're going to have to go more often. So that's just, <laughs> it just comes with pregnancy. That's just something that I've um, really noticed this past week. Um, the other thing that I have noticed is that um, it takes so much longer for me to get over a cold um, and allergies are so much worse. Like I am allergic to my dog a little bit, but this pregnancy, like I am stuffy all the time, constantly blowing my nose. I, if I do too much, I get run down and then I get sick a lot more. So I really, I'm at this stage where I really have to be careful and like not push myself to work out as much and that sort of thing. Although I did work out today, but I took like the last, the three days before today off because I was just too tired. So I, it's really important at this stage to like, just listen to your body. And if you feel too tired, don't do it because your body is busy growing a human being. So um, I have to kind of scale back a little bit because I was noticing I was trying to do way too much and then I would get sick, miss work, and it's just not its just not a fun time for, for anybody. So um, I, I have noticed that I'm getting more tired and need to kind of scale it back a little bit. Um, in terms of my appetite, I know that my app said that once you hit about 18 weeks, you are going to be more hungry. I haven't really notice that too too much I'm still eating like 1800 calories a day although <clears throat> excuse me I find whenever I eat whole natural <clears throat> excuse me good food I'm not as hungry but if I eat the crappy food like macaroni and cheese or a burger or stuff like that I feel like I need to eat more like I'm more ravenous for those sorts of things like the other day I'm not even joking I literally ate 3,000 calories because I just, I started to eat bad and then I guess it spiked my insulin, like all the sugar and stuff. So I just like kept wanting to eat it. So that was really bad. So, but today, I mean, I've had an English muffin with peanut butter and banana, my cliff bar and a huge salad and a big grapefruit. 
and I'm fine. I don't feel hungry. So it's just, it's so funny. Like whenever you eat healthier, I'm not as hungry and I'm sticking to the 1800 calorie mark, 18 to 2000, mostly like 18 to 19. But when I eat bad, then I want to eat so much more of the bad stuff and it won't fill me up. So I am craving, um, I am still craving like, bad things once in a while, but um, my hunger, my appetite hasn't really increased that much that I've noticed. Um, I have noticed a lot more heart palpitations, which that's something that I've experienced even before I became pregnant, um, but now that I am pregnant, it's something that I notice a lot more. Mainly at night, I'll be sitting in bed and I just kind of get a flutter or I'll go from one side to my other side and I feel like a flutter in my chest. Um, it's nothing to be like concerned about. I know that that's very normal and it's something that lots of pregnant women get. It's, it is a symptom. Um, and because I've had them, you know, before being pregnant, it didn't really bother me or scare me or anything like that. But I did want to make note of it that that's something that I am noticing a lot more. Heart palpitations. Um, I know I said this probably in a couple of vlogs I'll kind of randomly say but you have your veins are so much more noticeable when you're pregnant I find all the veins like in my chest um, and like going to my boobs and all in my stomach like your veins are just so much more prominent and I guess that's attributed to the extra blood flow that's running through your body but um, I haven't experienced um, spider veins or varicose veins. I know a lot of people get varicose veins when they're pregnant, but I haven't had any of that. And I think a lot of that is that I am so active and I'm stretching a lot. Um, I could be wrong. Maybe there's women that are active and they still get varicose veins. I don't know. I'm just assuming that that's why I don't. But um, yeah, I haven't had any, thank God, knock on wood, varicose veins. I just notice um, that my veins are a lot more prominent. Um, not like sticking out. They're just like darker. Like you can just see them more. So that's kind of different. Um, my skin, oh my God. So my skin is so much more dry and itchy than ever in my entire life. Like it has nothing to do with the winter. I mean, obviously the winter plays a factor, but my skin is so much more dry. Like I used to have oily skin like on my face, even in the winter, I don't anymore. Like I do not have oily skin whatsoever anymore. Um, Sorry, I'm stuffy. Um, that might change in the summer. Talk to me in the summer. I don't know, it might change. But yeah, I'm not oily at all. And my skin, like I'm constantly putting moisturizer on because I'm so dry. And of course, because everything's stretching, you're, you just get itchier. Like I'm itchy all here and my chest gets itchy, my stomach gets itchy. Um, and like just, just everything gets itchy because <laughs> you're just your skin's just drier and it's stretching to make room for the baby so you're just itchy and dry and it's not fun and my lips have been terrible they're getting better now but man it's like it's not fun I am experiencing more back pain now not sciatic nerve pain I haven't had sciatic nerve pain since the first trimester um, because I regularly stretch so I don't have the sciatic, thank God, because that was awful. But I'm starting to get more of just a general backache. Like if I'm on my feet too long or if I'm sitting too long, um, my back just, it hurts a lot more easily now than it ever has been. And I think that's just because my belly's getting, you know, so much bigger. It's just a lot more pressure on my back carrying this extra weight, like I'm off balance, like it's just, it's gonna be more of a pressure thing. So I'm noticing that. And the hip pain at night is getting really bad. Um, not, again, not sciatic, but just like, because I can't sleep on my stomach or my back, I flip from the left to the right, left to right. And lately, it would be like maybe two nights a week that I'd have the hip pain going all down my legs but then I'd be fine other nights. Now it's like every single night. Even if I put a pillow between my legs, it doesn't alleviate it. Um, it just feels kind of like, it's just an ache that starts right at my hip and it just travels. It's like a dull, numbing pain that travels down the sides of my leg. So it's a lot worse on the left than the right. The left is also where I had my sciatic nerve pain. So the left is just worse. Um, but I would like switch over <coughs> excuse me to my right side 
but now my right side starting to do it too. So um, it's really frustrating because it's just not comfortable. So I think I am going to invest in that pregnancy pillow that everybody talks about. It just like pains me because it's like $90 for a pillow. But I know I've read a lot of the reviews and a lot of women say like, no, you need to get it because it's like heaven. And just putting a pillow between my legs is just not cutting it. I don't know why, but um, it's just not. So sleeping has just been more difficult because it'll wake me up like I'll be having a dream and I feel the pain and it wakes me up um, so that kind of sucks um, in terms of dreams I did have another dream about the baby again it was a boy and he I just remember like holding him and he was all wrapped up and I was looking at him and he looked like a combination of me and my husband but a little bit more so like Colin, like like my husband. Like he was kind of like, oh yeah, there's some of me in there, but I see more of Colin in there. So that was really, really cool. Um, I'm still having like the crazy dreams. I wake up and I'm like, what the hell was that? Like just crazy, crazy dreams. Um, and still kind of emotional. Yeah, so um, the dreams have, or not dream, sorry, uh, see, pregnancy brain. I was talking about emotions. So um, I am a lot more emotional. Um, like yesterday morning, I didn't, I, apparently I didn't get enough sleep. I cried like three times in the morning. And Colin's like, what's wrong? Excuse me, and I'm like, I don't know. I'm just upset, like I'm just sad. And he's like, it's okay, like you're fine. No, he's really good, he's actually super sensitive. Um, but yeah, like I'll just be like really emotional and things that like I'll just cry and like not have a reason and just be like, I'm just sad today. I'm just having a bad day. And he's like, but you just woke up. <laughs> like, so, um, yeah, that's kind of been a bit of a struggle as I am a lot more emotional. I'm a lot more sensitive than I was before. Um, but all in all, I'm pretty happy. I do feel pretty good. Um, I'm not going to do the workout five days a week because I'm just finding it. That and working full time with my job is very stressful. It's very demanding. I'm up and go like up from my desk, sit down, get up, sit down, get up, sit down, go here, run here, find this person, find this person. It's very stressful. Um, so I think that just working out and working full time is just, it, it's too much. So I'm going to scale it back to about three days a week. Um, I'm going to have a workout, a weekend workout, and then two, maybe three during the week. But I'm not going to kill myself. And I'll make sure I have adequate rest in between because um, I have found I'm starting to get sick a lot more and it's harder for me to get better. So um, another thing that I will talk about, and I think it's too because I'm also stuffy, but I'm like right now talking to you guys, like I'm out of breath. Like I'm so much more out of breath. I mean, I can still hold my own in the gym, but just like daily things, I'm just out of breath. And like talking, like I'm just, I'm tired now. Like I've just exhausted myself just from like talking. So um, that's something that's like, Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so out of breath. I will show you the belly bump, um, but I think I mentioned this in my vlogs, but I haven't mentioned it in a pregnancy video. So I am taking my maternity leave um, March 30th. Wait, 30 days has September, April, June, all the, and November. All the rest have 31. So March 31st is my last day of work. And then, um, and then I'll be off for like three months before the baby gets here and then I'm not going back to work after as of right now because um, my job, I was contract and they just didn't have enough money in the budget to keep me or the other contract girl. So as of the end of March, I have no job um, and I'll just be on mat leave and um, I will not be going back as of right now. Um, whether that will change after the baby's born, I'm not really sure but I'll at least be off for a year with the baby and then Colin and I can figure out finances and decide from there what I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the plan right now is I'm gonna be stay at home mom for right now. Could change, stuff happens, I don't know, but for right now that's where we're at. So um, I still, I don't know how much weight I've gained because my midwife appointment is on Wednesday. And um, but so far I was at the uh, like 13, 14 pound mark um, that I've gained. I'm not too sure how much, I'm assuming an extra five pounds just because my belly's so much heavier. I can't imagine it not being an extra five. 
and my midwife told me you'll probably gain like a pound a week from here on out so it should be about five pounds so we'll see but I will let you guys know that and in my next pregnancy video I'll officially you'll know if it's a boy or a girl officially but uh, yeah so I'm super exciting so anyways I will show you the belly now so I am gonna move my chair again because and I'm wearing the same dress that I wore in my last video it's just this is a different color but um yeah that's me from the front it's the belly and the side I guess you can't see as well when I do that so there he is we'll do the side so yeah it's getting bigger. I did measure, um, Colin and I were kind of, ooh, I gotta squat down more. We're interested to see, so I did measure my belly, and from the biggest part of my belly, from my back right around to the biggest part of my belly, which is like two inches or an inch below my belly button, was 36 and a half inches. So we're gonna measure it every week and see how big it gets, but yeah. It's, it's getting pretty big. Um, and I still have, let me just bring my chair back. I still have the, um, like the um, cramping and pulling and stuff like that. Um, I noticed it a lot this week. So that's just something that happens. Um, and that's how you know you have a healthy baby and everything's growing and expanding. So it's a good sign. So thank you guys for watching. I'm out of breath now, so I'm going to go. But um, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, let me know if you are pregnant, any symptoms or things you're going through and stuff like that. Stay tuned for more tutorials and eventually mommy vlogs and stuff like that. So yeah, please like and subscribe. My channel it helps a lot. I love you and I'll see you in the next one.